Here we are with video number three of the cell cycle. Stage three, cytokinesis. After mitosis, the final stage of the cell cycle, called cytokinesis, completes the process of cell division. During cytokinesis, the cytoplasm divides, distributing the organelles into each of the two new cells. Cytokinesis usually starts at about the same time as telophase. <clears throat> you can say telophase too. During cytokinesis in animal cells, the cell membrane squeezes together around the middle of the cell. The cytoplasm pinches into two cells with about half of the organelles in each daughter cell. Cytokinesis is somewhat different in plant cells. A plant cell's rigid cell wall cannot squeeze together in the same way that a cell membrane can. Instead, a structure called a cell plate forms across the middle of the cell. The cell plate gradually develops into new cell membranes between the two daughter cells. New cell walls then form around the cell membranes. There are many variations of the basic pattern of cytokinesis. For example, yeast cells divide, though not equally. A small daughter cell, or bud, pinches off the parent cell. The bud then grows into a full-size yeast cell. Cytokinesis marks the end of the cell cycle. Two new cells have formed. Each daughter cell has the same number of chromosomes as the original parent cell. At the end of cytokinesis, each cell enters interphase and the cell begins. Cell cycle begins again. Length of the cell cycle. How long does it take for a cell to go through one cell cycle? The answer depends on the type of cell. In a young sea urchin, for example, one cell cycle takes about two hours. In contrast, a human liver cell completes one cell cycle in about 22 hours, as shown in the graph below. The length of each stage in the cell cycle also varies greatly from cell to cell. Some cells, such as human brain cells, never divide. They remain in the first part of interface for as long as they live. This is why you need to wear a helmet. So if you, because you, if you damage your brain, it doesn't repair itself. So let's take a look at this. Let me shrink it down a little. The cell cycle, the cell cycle, the main stages of the cell cycle are interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. This graph shows the average length of each stage in a human liver cell. Notice how, um, growth, DNA replication, and preparation, which is this tan, blue, and pink part, that's all interphase. So that's the longest stage. And then mitosis, which is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, are very short, and cytokinesis is also very short, about an hour total for those. All right, let's get to a new page here. DNA replication. A cell makes a copy of its DNA before mitosis occurs. DNA replication ensures that each daughter cell will have all of the genetic information it needs to carry out its activities. Think about having a cell that doesn't have a full brain. It's not going to work very well. Only in the last 50 years have scientists understood the importance of DNA. By the early 1950s, the work of several scientists showed that the DNA that DNA carries all of the cell's instructions. They also learned that DNA is passed from a parent cell to its daughter cells. In 1953, two scientists, James Watson and Francis Crick, figured out the structure of DNA. This discovery revealed important information about how DNA copies itself. The structure of DNA. A DNA molecule looks like a twisted ladder or spiral staircase. Because of its shape, a DNA model molecule is often called a double helix. A helix is a shape that twists like the threads of a screw. <clears throat> 